everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the new Cadian Shock Troops as part of the Cadia Stands army set, the new Astra Militarum range sent to me early by Games Workshop to paint up and review for all of you and I'm very excited because these models are absolutely fantastic. A real glow up for the guard, they're super detailed super dynamic and they look absolutely fantastic and we're going to be painting them up for you today in the box art scheme so with that in mind we're going to jump in and we're going to start painting them we're going to be painting these five we've got the whole unit here but we're going to be painting these five on camera and we're going to be mostly focusing on well these two here but when stuff comes up like the plasma gun and the melter gun or indeed that vox pack we will pick it out if it is necessary to do so so the first colour we're going to be using is Skeleton Horde. And we're going to be painting this all over all of the clothes. Now I should also point out here that our Guardsmen have been primed in Wraithbone. And what we're going to do is just load up our brush here with the Skeleton Horde. And we're just going to pick a place to start. And I'm going to start just here on the jacket. And we're just going to start painting this over the top like this. Nice and simple, good place to start. So with that skeleton horde all applied to their trousers, shirts, and their kind of, this little bit of the neck bit, what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the next colour, and that is going to be Creed Camo. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the bits that we want to be green. Now don't worry if it's the wrong colour, which it is, it's not going to stay this colour for long. So we're just going to start here on the knee pads. like so. There we go. Next up we're going to go on to the shoulders. that. I'm going to paint in the chest, the flat jackets. And then once that's done, we're going to come back. So with that Creed camo all applied, we've also applied this to the bandana or balaclava or face wrap here. And we've applied it to the hat up here as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna darken down that green because as you can see, it's not quite right. And as mentioned, it's not quite right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some orc flesh and we're gonna apply this over the top of the Creed camo. So once again, we're gonna start here on the knee. Just like that. Now one thing we're not going to do is on that face wrap on the other guy is not going to cover over 
the orc flesh there to give it some distinction. But otherwise, we're going to apply this orc flesh over all of our green. So with that orc flesh all applied to our armor, as you can see, we've got this nice, lovely kind of jewelish green, but it's not as kind of vibrant as orc flesh generally tends to be if you just put it on by itself. So over the top of that Creed camera, it looks fantastic. So what we're gonna do now is move on to our next color, and that is going to be some wild wood. I'm gonna be applying this over the top of all of the leather details. Now, they do have them everywhere. There are a number of them that you gotta watch out for. Now what we're not going to colour in is the boots. As an example. But otherwise, all the straps, all the baggage, all the backpacks, belts, pouches, all of it is going to colour, be coloured in with the wildwood. With that wildwood applied, here is the state of affairs, as it were, and they're looking pretty cool. However, we're just going to show off the rest of them. What we're going to do next, we're going to take some Black Legion, and we're going to apply this to pretty much all of our remaining non-metallic details, and of course, the flesh as well. So, here we go, just showing off the, showing off the boys and girls. So... What we're going to do is we're going to take that Black Legion and we're going to start applying this, as I mentioned, to pretty much all those remaining details. So, taking that Black Legion and applying it over the top of the rest of the boots, like this. We're going to be applying this over the top of the casing of the weapons. like so, and I'm going to be applying this to the little black kind of body glove that they're wearing. You can see just under the neck like that sort of thing. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Fire Slayer Flesh and we're going to apply this to all of the skin. Now I'm just going for a single recipe on this 10 because, well, I anticipate that I'm going to require quite a few Guardsmen for my planned list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bunch of different skin recipes across entire squads and then just mix and match them. But now, what we're going to do is just going to use the same one across all of them for the sake of time as well. So 
So with that Fire Slayer Flesh all applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Iron Warriors. I'm gonna apply this to, well, pretty much all of the remaining details. The only things we're not gonna apply this to are stuff like the barrel on the melter gun, the Aquila on the Sergeant's hat. I'm gonna do that a slightly different color. And there's a couple of the odd cables here and there on the Vox pack. But otherwise, we just wanna apply this to all of our remaining details. So with all of that silver applied, as you can see, we've got a couple of areas that we haven't done. So we've got this hair just in here on this helmet on the plasma gun. We haven't done the coils and we haven't done this little pipe wire there on the box pack. We haven't done the grip on the knife. Over here, we have not done the barrel of the melter gun, nor the little cables just under here. And on our other two, what we haven't done is the hair under here, and we haven't done the cigar in his mouth, nor the top part of the hat, the Aquila on his hat. But this one has now got all of its base coats. So we're gonna pop him to one side, and the next color we're gonna be using is Blood Angels Red. And we have no Blood Angels Red here on this guy. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna use the Blood Angels Red on the grips of the combat knives. Use a little bit more. There we go. Like that. What we're also gonna do we're going to use this on the cables. So we've got this one and the other. So with that red applied, we're then going to take some gore grunt of fur and we're going to apply this to the hair on both of our areas that need hair. Like that. Oop, a little bit of a sideburn just here. Like so. And with that Gorgrunter applied, we're then going to take some rattling grime and apply this to the cigar. So with that done, we're then going to take some frost tarp and going to apply this to the plasma coils. Like that. And then for a really quick little brightness, we're just gonna, with a clean brush, just wipe off the frost art on the corners by just running our brush over across it whilst it's still wet. And do this on the top as well, if you want to. Just absorbing that paint. Like that. And finally, just to finish off this base coat and train, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down Balthazar gold and we're gonna apply this to the melter gun barrel 
and the Aquila on the sergeant's hat. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on an Arcadian shock troops and they're already looking pretty fantastic and I'm sure you will agree. However, what we're going to do now is we're going to add a couple of shades. Now the first one we're going to add is Croak Green. Now this one is optional, but I like this to add just a little tiny little bit more shading onto the green, but already that green looks fantastic. So that's why we don't use very much here. And what we do is we just kind of very carefully apply this like this over the top of all our green armor. And we can apply this over the top of the kind of face rag on the other one as well, just add a little bit more depth to it over the top of the Creed camo. And as you can see there, it just kind of punches up that orc flesh just that little bit more. But as I said, it is entirely optional and you don't have to do this. And with that croak green applied, we're then gonna take some Nuln oil and we're gonna apply this over the top of all of our metallics. And we can coat this over the top of the guns as well. Just to make those weapon casings look nice and dark. So with those shades applied, our Cadian shock troopers are now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And they look awesome. However, we're not gonna leave them there. No, we're gonna take them to the next level. We're gonna do this by adding some highlights. Now the first one we're gonna add is Krieg Karkin. And we're gonna be applying this to all of the green. Now some of you may be thinking, you haven't done the Sergeant Chevrons or that bit around his shoulder. Yes, we are gonna do that a little bit later but for now what we're going to do is we're going to take this creek khaki i'm going to use this to pick out all of the edges on all of the green so with all of that creek khaki applied what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Corax white. We're going to do two things. We're going to do a highlight here on the plasma coils and we're going to paint in that Sergeant's chevron. So we'll do the very quickly the, uh, the plasma coils. What we're going to do is we're just going to take a small amount of this Corax white and then just along the edges, we're going to add a highlight just to really brighten that up. Like that. And like that, and then just across the middle, just using the side of our brush to move back and forth across it, like so. On the shard, sergeant's shoulder, I'm going to use that Corax white now to layer over the chevron like this and around the edge
So with that done, all of the armor is finished as is those plasma coils. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on and we're gonna take some thinned down screaming skull. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our fatigues. So with all that screaming skull applied to all of the fatigues, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some flayed one flesh and we're gonna use this to highlight all the skin. And so with that flayed one flesh applied, we're then gonna take some black legion. We're gonna apply this over the top, his eyeballs. And so with that black legion applied, we then wanna take a teeny tiny dot of screaming skull and apply this in the corners of the eyeballs, like that. And like that. And so with that done, just specifically on our sergeant, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tiny little dot of Blood Angels Red and we're gonna apply this on the end of the cigar, like that. And finally, if you're feeling brave, take a teeny tiny little dot of flash gets yellow and just put that right in the middle, like that. With that done, all of the flesh is now complete. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the next detail and that's gonna be all the black. And the color we're gonna be using to highlight this is Dawnstone. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down iron hand steel. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our silver. So with all of that iron hand steel applied, we just got one final highlight to apply and that is some Rune Lord brass to the edges of all of our gold details, well, Balthazar gold details. And so, with our bases complete, our Cadian shock troops are now finished. And I really, really like them. This kind of slightly warmer green, which I keep seeing in the box art, maybe I'm just imagining it, but I keep seeing it in all the product photography. I think it really, really works on these guys. And with that kind of nice warm screaming skull opposite, it, it just really, really works. Especially on these new guys. I don't want it to be too dark, I think just because you know, these guys feel a lot more organic, they feel a lot more alive than our old Cadian shock troops. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And 
If you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.